Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assisting and the office furniture and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present from me, Bob. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty bangs and the scrubby brush and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about, well, you're thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that. See? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes and uh, come here and come there, smile and what then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend. But you, more likely, your marriage is ruined. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. But my friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage, and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe we call it man marriage. Then I think to myself, no, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Because that is what it is. A new beginning, Lazarus. So, how does this work? 